Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwam Yasa Allah. Koholoyim la Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rekahakudash. Double honors to our apostles, to our elders, to the great millstone who do real well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Jachanan Waf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Um, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And the title here says, United Nations Proposes Digital ID System Tied to Bank Accounts and Mobile Payment Platforms. All right. So let's grab a quick scripture real quick. Let's go into the Apocrypha. Because, you, you know, you have people that say, well, hey, what's wrong with that? That's just going to, you know, help us to move faster and the system is going to be great and it's going to make everything convenient and easy okay but this is ecclesiasticus um, 5 and 15 also known as the book of sirach it says be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or small and as watchmen we have to be on top of all things that's got to do with currency right now because everything is leading up to of course that market of beauty and the beast they want to you know because it's all leading to them wanting to implant some shit into your body, man. It says the United Nations is pro proposing a universal digital ID system that would directly connect to people's bank accounts and payment apps. A comprehensive new policy agenda from UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres details an identification network designed to digitalize to digitize Salakia and streamline the process of verifying people's identities on a global scale. See, it's on a global scale. This is a global thing. This is um the elite taking over the, the entire globe, man. With their new um their new reset, so to speak. It says the proposal is outlined in a section dedicated to a global digital corp corporation and sustainable development goals. Digital IDs linked with bank or mobile money accounts can improve the delivery of social protection coverage and serve to better reach eligible beneficiaries. And see, they always gonna, you know, they're always gonna do that. They're gonna, they're gonna, you know, try and, you know, link it into. Look at how much faster you can do things. Look at how more convenient it is. This is good for the um, economy. This is good for the climate. This is good for, see you have to watch those buzzwords that um, the so-called white man uses. It says digital technologies may help to reduce leakage, errors, and costs in the design of social protection programs, right? So let's get one more scripture. It's that, uh, Yeah, um, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3. It says, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. And the NLT over here says, When people are saying everything is peaceful and secure, then disaster will fall on them as suddenly as a pregnant woman, woman's labor pangs begin and there will be no escape so this man he's gonna come at you peace and safety we have to do this you know um for the sake of your safety <laughs> your peace of mind you know we don't you know there's a lot of hacking going on there's you know um ai out here that's going on that's growing um the uh this chat um gpt i think it's called and all this different stuff so they're going to be throwing all different types of things your way to try and convince the people to say, hey, see, if we do this, then you won't have to worry about any of that. We have it secure. Your money is going to be secure. You know what I'm saying? So they'll go from that. Okay. I found this on the web for First Thessalonians 5 and 3 is their school when they shall say peace and safety wow. dance and destruction come with upon them as reveal upon the woman with child and they shall not escape in NLT. <laughs> Salakia, that's, <laughs> oh, man. That's Siri. It, 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 that, that's on my other phone that's sitting here. It actually heard me say that scripture, and it went and got the scripture. All late, though. But anyway, and that's the spirit, though. And the peace and safety, man, because that's what they're going to be doing. Okay, so check it out. It says, um, the proposal follows a move by the World Economic Forum. See? The, see? The WEF. They Remember they just had this meeting over in Switzerland not, not long ago? Months back? 
It says the proposal follows a move by the World Economic Forum to explore systems that would track and verify human identities using biometrics. I'm telling you, man, we are there. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. Let's get that real quick. Yeah, Second Thessalonians, um, Second Corinthians, two and eleven, and we can roughly paraphrase these scriptures, but it's best to bring them out when we can, so people can actually look them, look these scriptures up themselves. There's a log here, where you can say, all right, I can look at this video back and say, all right, that's that, that's that scripture. Let me let me jot it down. Let me um look into it myself. Second Corinthians two and eleven. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. See, we're not ignorant of, of, of how this man gets down. But a lot of people, they have no idea, especially the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. See, you have to get on board, you know, because this is really about you. They want to perpetually enslave you. It's not enough that they already have you as a slave. But they, if they, if they do this, because what's, like I said, once it's coming up to is they want to put a PlayStation in you. Or Xbox, if you know what I mean. If you get what I'm saying. I'm trying to use words that, you know, may not set off their trigger. <laughs> but... You understand what I'm saying. These people want to put robotics into you, man, so to speak, to control you, to control your every whim, to know your every move, to know where exactly where you are all day. You know, what kind of things are you spending on? What type of things are you, you know, how many times of the week are you going out to eat? You know, where did you get gas at? You know, where did you get that wedding ring from? You know, I mean, it's this shit is getting outrageous, man. But we have to stay on top of this. But let's go back into it. It says, um, I'm telling you, man, hey, yeah, that, that World Economic Forum, they was talking about a lot of stuff, man. We reported on it, though. We definitely, as the Watchmen, we, we reported on um, the things that they was going into. The forum has teamed up with the Swedish biometric company Fingerprint Cards. And you already know over there in Sweden, hey, they already got, the, they getting the chip. Like, they been getting the chip. They been um, um, making purchases and doing their thing with that, um, that particular... Uh, technology within them i would say it says and is exploring blockchain based digital id platforms that put privacy at the top of all major priorities see privacy they see they're gonna they're gonna push it on you like look we're gonna keep your accounts private we want to do this for you this is for your safety and for your money but while they're telling you all that they're all in your damn business they know everything about you Claiming that they're keeping your 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 situation private, because they're collecting all your data. And like I said again, that scripture says we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. It says the UN notes that despite the rapid advance of technology around the world, more work is needed to provide equal access to the digital rev revolution, and to reverse ever-growing gaps in wealth dis distribution. Come on, man, these people, man, are incredible. Digital technology, they saying now, uh, this is what they're saying. Digital technology has led to massive gains in productivity and value, but these benefits are not resulting in shared prosperity. The wealth of those in the top 1% is growing exponentially. Between 1995 and 2021, they accounted for 38% of the increase in global wealth, while the, the bottom 50% accounted for only 2%. Digital technologies are accelerating the concentration of economic power in an ever smaller group of elites and companies. The combined wealth of technology billionaires is 2.1 trillion in 2022. It's greater than the annual gross domestic product of more than half the group of 20 economies. See that? So the so-called white man, the elite of them are, are, are getting filthy rich, man. And that was pretty much it on the article. But the point that we want to make here, let's see, um, Salakia. Because I'm telling you, uh, well, I missed this part right here. Digital IDs linked with bank or, bank or mobile money accounts can improve the delivery of social protection coverage and serve to better reach eligible beneficiaries. Oh, I did read that part, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's check out this. I wanted to see this part. It says the form has teamed up with Swedish biometrics company Fingerprint Cards. Let's go off into this um, link here. Yeah, they about to get down out here, man. The Digital Identity Initiative. It says World Economic Forum Panel. 
uh, pushes for blockchain based decentralized digital ID. Now, this was in April, so this is an older story. But still, they're saying about the same thing, and, it, and they're definitely mentioning the WEF, the World Economic Forum. It says, has been discussing the possibilities of agreeing on an international policy and standard framework that will serve as the springboard to enhance the adoption of digital ID systems that put privacy at the top of all major priorities. See, they still, you know, they're going to give you that, that bullshit, man. They're going to make it seem like they're for you when actually in reality they're against you. But um, let me go back, though, because now this is a Swedish bio Swedish biometric company, fingerprint card. So now let's go off into this real quick. Let's um, copy and paste this or do a web search. Let's see what they got to what comes up on this company. See, they actually selling stuff right here. They have um, a biometric fingerprint hookup for $299. So if they already have stuff like this, time logics. So basically, I guess this will be if you were to go to work, you know, they know that it's actually you that's punching in on the clock by your fingerprint hookup. So, um... Cause you know they have fingerprint um guns now too, where they, you know it's supposed to be um if it doesn't match your fingerprint you don't you know you can't pull the trigger things of that nature, okay uh it says fingerprints is a world leading biometric company we believe in a secure and seamless universe where you are the key to everything notice that you are the key that's why they're 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 giving you all these you know see like right now they have um hookups where you can unlock your car with your cell phone. You know, they got apps for that now. Certain cars, newer cars. You know, um, but also we've seen videos with people getting the chip within their hands and waving it, you know, at their car door as far as Tesla and things of that nature and opening the door, opening the doors to um, businesses. They're logging into the computers. They're at the vending machine. They're, you know, at these, you know, you know, I mean, they're all, you know, they're making purchases at gas stations and supermarkets and things of that nature. All they're doing is swiping their hand across the screen or um, biometric um, screen or whatever, a scanner, and it, the money is being automatically deducted from their bank account. So we, we see what it is, man. Okay, it says, who makes biometric cards? Let's see if we can get some images here. They may actually show some stuff. Okay, so now you have... They're showing the car with the chip in it, right? Now they have the fingerprint hookup over here to the side. Right? So they're going to have all this on that chip, man. They're going to have it all on there. Like this one. Let's see this one. A biometric payment card. And it appears that he has his thumb on top of something right there but I mean hey, it is what it is man now let's just put in um, probably could have oh there you go I ain't even had to go far with Sweden chips in hand see this is big in Sweden I don't think they're even really using cash like that anymore. See, this is a big thing. All I did was put in sweetened chips, and the rest of it, you know, popped up in hand. It popped up. And there you have it, man. So, I mean, the shit is getting freaky. Okay, we're definitely living in the last days, man. So, um, you know, be on the lookout and be aware of these types of things. But let me get the scripture. Like I said, again, you know, it says uh, to be... Whether it's a great or small matter, man, know about it, basically. Because this is what this is all leading up to, and people are not paying attention. But we are, hey, we, we're doing the, the watchman thing, man. We're watching and praying out here to let our people know what's going on, how close we are to this thing happening. Because you do have camps that's out here that's teaching that is not what this, what this is, man. This is it. <laughs> this is it. You're not going to get around it. It's, it's, it's self-explanatory. Revelation 13, 16, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, 
and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name and it's it's becoming more harder to go places and really spend cash you know it's still cash out here being spent but don't get me wrong there are a lot of um different places like they don't want nothing to do with cash no more they want to they want it all to be what we're seeing right now on these screens man with these with this digital shit you know a lot of stadiums you go to a lot of um theme parks a lot of uh there's a lot of different places that you go you know with the family carnivals or whatever whatever and they're basically they they have what you know they have ATM machines basically that you get a debit card out of you you insert your cash into the machine the machine spits you out a master or visa um, prepaid card or whatever with the amount of money that you um, uploaded on it and then you go in and you spend you spend money from that card you don't just hand cash off to a cashier and they're you know using all this old safety you know I told you when they say peace and safety they like oh well less people are getting robbed. There are a lot less um, um, robberies and thefts and things of that nature because there's no cash to actually steal. And they're telling you all these things and, and they're, they're, you know, so it is what it is, man. But let's go to um, chapter 14, Revelations 14 and 9 to see what the results of if you do this, what's going to happen. And actually it's entitled Doom for Worshippers of the Beast because that's exactly what your ass is going to be if you if you take this man's... um chippity chip chip in your ass man you're you're basically you're saying he's your master he's your 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 slave master man you you belong to him you have taken his mark you have taken his um branding right you know like with a brand with a brand and there's a mark say for instance you got a coca-cola or something like that just you know for example and there's a company out here that's using say for instance that just those colors red and white with the little swerve, you know, to it or whatever. If they have anything looking close to that, you best believe Coca-Cola is going to take you to court and sue you over copyright um, hookups, you know, because of their brand. Because they feel as if it's theirs. You can't use those particular colors, nor that, that particular um, stripe or whatever. You can't use that because it looks too close to our brand, our product. That's ours. And that's what that's going into. Okay, it says... um Verse 9, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the Lamb. And a, a, a and also it goes off into um, those cancerous boils. You're gonna see a lot of people, you know, um, start to shit start to grow in their asses, man. You know, skin skin legions and things of that nature are gonna start bursting open with, you know, big stupid ass, bubbled up ass blister type boils, man. You know, so hey, this thing is is serious. You know, so that's why we we do these lessons to let our people know, hey, don't take this shit. Don't take what the so-called white man is trying to throw at you. Don't do it, man. Because he's going to try and make it seem as if there's no way to eat, no way to drink. You're not going to have anything unless you're dealing with him. But we're, we're, we're dependent upon the Lord that created all things, man. Because he said, my servant shall eat. Let's get that. Um... Uh, that at uh, Salak, yeah. scripture that talks about my servant shall eat yep that's uh isaiah 65 let me start here. let me get verse 12 as well it says therefore isaiah 65 and 12 therefore will i number you to the sword and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter because when i call ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before mine eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Therefore thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl. Or vexation of spirit 
That's cold, man. You don't want to be out here howling. Vexation of spirit. People out here just screaming. Because they don't know what to do. Watching their babies go hungry, man. Watching their babies be, you know, being slaughtered, basically. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be real treacherous out here, man, in a little while, man. So, I mean, we can see it all happening. It's all in action. It's all in play. So, repent to the Father. Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. And the true name of the Father is Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one. And the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the Savior or Deliverer in Paleo-Hebrew. We have to keep bringing that out. Because those are the names that you're, you're only names you're going to be able to call on. And this is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you Hebrew Israelites. That's your biblical nationality. Because the Lord is about to turn this place upside down on behalf of the children of Israel. Because of what the other nations have done to hit the apple of his eye, the children of Israel. Now, two-thirds of our people, and I pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man, that he have mercy on me and my household, that I'm not a part of that. And that you, you, you brothers and sisters that are listening to these lessons... That you're not a part of that as well, man. You don't want no parts of what's to come. We want to be one. Of, we want to be the servants that's eating and drinking and having joy. We don't want no parts of the the, the howling and vexation of spirit, man. We don't want no parts of that. And this thing is getting close, man. I'm telling you, this thing is getting really, really, really super duper close, man. You know, so the Lord is is making moves. He's he's beginning to visit the earth, which he made. That's going off into Second Ezra chapter nine. And hey. You're about to see more uproars of the people. You're about to see these damn people go crazy. And I was just watching the brother um, out of New York, GMS New York camp, um, the brother um, Amawanga Bar. And he was going off into, um, he had a video up of this young lady that was talking. And she was talking about how you're seeing all these military um, vehicles moving around all these cities in America. And she was talking about the grid going out and lights going out and shit being ravaged because you know people gonna hit these stores they're gonna hit the gas stations the liquor stores the walmarts the targets they're gonna hit everything that's got something to do with anything that they feel as if is valuable and they're gonna go and take it so and, and it's gonna be a shutdown for a while and once you know everything opens back up everything's gonna be different <laughs> you know you think cold that cov19 done people you know kind of dirty you, you just that was all a tester so, I just wanted to touch on this for a hot sec, man. I pray that this lesson was edifying. With that, Kwame Yashallah, man, repent.